Hey guys, welcome back. This video, I want to talk about abstract methods. In the previous video, we talked about creating an abstract class, and we showed that it's going to prevent us from creating an instance of that class. So let's fix this error first by switching this to a student. And even if that did work, it wouldn't work still because we're trying to assign it to a student typed variable, but that's a topic for a different day. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So taking a look at this user class, you can see we labeled it abstract. And we have this method down here, hello to console. And in the derived class, we're overriding that method. But just for a moment, I want to comment this out. Doesn't complain. Essentially, if we create a student and invoke hello to console, it's just going to use the base class version. So it'll use this right here. It'll say, hi, my name is, and put the full name. But if we go in here and replace virtual with abstract, by the way, as a reminder, the virtual is what allows us to override it. Abstract also allows us to override it, but it is one additional rule. So hover over this, you'll see we have an error, and it says it cannot declare a body. So we actually have to get rid of this entire body here, and we'll just replace it with a semicolon. So it's so abstract that it doesn't even have a body, the body doesn't even exist. So we're just saying that there's this method, but we haven't actually defined it. Now inside of student, you can see we're gonna get an error. It says student does not implement inherited abstract member. So in English, the abstract works similar to virtual in that we can override the method, but it's an additional rule that you actually have to override it. You have to put your own implementation in the derived class. So you can hover over show potential fixes, click that and implement abstract class. And it's gonna look exactly like this. Funny how this looks exactly like the code we had earlier, just with a little bit of a different body. So we can actually get rid of that get rid of the comment and go back to what we had. So hopefully that makes sense. If you label a method as abstract, you are forcing the derived classes to have to come up with their own implementation. So as an overview, we have the user that's abstract. So we can't create an instance of user and we're forcing any derived classes to override this hello to console method and create its own implementation. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the next video, it's gonna be awesome. I think we're gonna be talking about polymorphism and it's gonna be in person so you guys get to see me and you know, I look good, so go check it out.